Shaw on the fade. Caught. Touchdown! Shaq Rowan. Hackenberg play fake. Time to throw. To the corner. Caught for a touchdown. Jesse James. Had his hands behind the defender. Winston stepping up. I'm Mike Warren. You cannot win without me. Don't even try. Don't go there. It's not going to happen. If you want to win, if you're going to put up your money, if you don't want to lose your money, if you want to win money, you need me. The fee that I'm charging is nothing compared to the money you're going to make. You need me to win at football. This is something I've always been good at. I continue to be good at. As a matter of fact, last year, I wasn't back officially. I did it for friends. Let's say friends and family. And throughout the football season, I picked about 65% winners. That's pretty good. That's money. That really is money. However, in the postseason, the postseason, I was 15 and 0 because I figured out how to get better. And when I figured that out, it just became my numbers. It had nothing to do with all the other stuff I used to use and I used to add into it. All I needed was my numbers. It's all out there now because of 24-7 television with sportscasters, sports announcers. They give you all this information. I used to have to pay for that information. I used to have to pay for locker room information. From, from managers to coaches to massage guys, everything. Because that information wasn't known to the public. But now it's all known to the public. It makes my life so much easier. My numbers stand up. They're great. There's no one better at making that number than me. Now 15 and 0 is the thing that drove me to come back and this year I certainly won't go 100 and 0. I will lose some games, but we'll be better than 65%. You know, a passion, something you love to do isn't hard work anymore. If you, if you really like doing it, I mean, uh, when I was younger I had a lot of things I liked to do and a lot of it had nothing to do with work. It was more for play, like these young football players. They, they're great football players, but they do other things. And, and that's the problem. Me, this is my only passion now, picking games. There's only two sports I like to bet, football and horse racing. Everything else is nonsense. I have a favorite deal. I do have a favorite team. The favorite team I have is a team that wins to me that day. I'm not a fan. It's one thing I'm not. This is not a, this is not a game of fans like I like the Orioles or I like uh, the Dodgers. That rah, rah, rah. I don't do that. I don't wear t-shirts. I don't wear hats and caps and I don't jump around like that. This is a business. I'm betting this game. This is not fun. This is a business. It's only fun when you win. There is no fun in losing when you're betting money. This is my career. This is what I do. I'm not a house painter. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a millionaire uh, team owner who bets football. I'm none of those things. This is, my, this is my business. This is exactly what I do. This is how I made all my money to go into the other businesses. I didn't have other businesses. My father left me a lot of money. And I started betting football on it. I started on my own. I built my business. I built my career around the ability of me picking winners, both in football and horse racing. I'll even bet you uh, flipping quarters to the wall. I don't really care. If there's a thing we can bet, let's bet. I'm lucky and I'm good, especially when I make my numbers in football. I consider myself one of the luckiest people in the world, both to had a long career a successful career doing the things I like to do and the fact that I am really lucky. I have I've known people who are smarter than me. I know people who make numbers better than me. And I had a friend of mine once say to me, uh, we get it down to say two horses or two games, a game, and it was so close and he would pick this horse and I would pick that horse. Incredibly, I would win nine times out of ten. And I would say to him, you're smarter.